Hello and welcome to another Linux skin tutorial. This time we're gonna show you how to use GIMP. GIMP is a popular image editing program which can bring you quite a lot of functionality so it's good to know how to do at least the basic things. So here you can see the interface of GIMP. It might look a little bit intimidating but to open a picture just click file, open and then pick from your directories. For this example I'm going to be using this picture of a modular synthesizer and I'm going to make it just a little bit easier for you to see. So for the first feature going to show you how to crop and resize pictures. In this case you need to navigate to the image menu and from there pick scale image where you can set the size of the image in pixels and as you can see you can set the resolution as well for pixels in inch. You can see that those fields are interlinked, so if you change one of them, the other one will change as well, so you don't distort the features of your picture. Now in order to keep those changes, just click scale, wait for a little bit, and your picture's held. And you're done. So in this way you can basically resize any picture to make them bigger or smaller. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the brightness feature. For this setting go to the colors menu, from there click brightness dash contrast and from here on you can just adjust the sliders to see what works best for you. So just use the sliders to adjust the brightness and the contrast to your liking. And if you want, you can edit those settings as levels. This will give you quite more technical way to adjust and preview those settings. But in this case we're gonna skip it because we're just doing the basics now. For the next function, I'll show you how to adjust the color levels of your picture. From this menu you can pick shadows, midtones or highlights and then use each slider to adjust each color of your color scheme. In this case we have cyan, magenta and yellow because we're in this type of scheme. So I'm just gonna make a few adjustments for you to see how they look. If you want to take a more Photoshop type of approach to colors then you can adjust the curves from this menu. From here you can draw either via points or freehand in any way you like. Next up I'm going to show you how to add text onto images because this is one of the basic functionalities you're going to be using a lot. So click the big A in the side panel and just draw your text box any size you want it. Then type something in it and because this image is quite huge it takes a little bit of adjusting for you to see the font but once I get it to a bigger point you can see that there is your font, you can adjust the font family, you can adjust whether it is underlined or italic or bold and from here you can pick the color. Now 
Next up, I'll show you how to flip and rotate an image by setting this image to be a mirror copy of itself. So click on image, transform and then from there you can flip or rotate the image in any way you like. So, so as you can see now I've turned it to a mirror copy of itself. And next up I'm gonna show you how to select and then how to work with layers in a really basic way. So to select an object you can use the lasso tool and here I'm going to select this potentiometer. If you just click you can select points in the picture and if you hold your left mouse button you can draw on it freehand. Once your selection is done, you can go ahead and create a new layer for you to paste your creation on. And there you go, you can see that now we've selected this potentiometer knob. And you can move it around, adjust its size, copy and paste it all over and over again, just make the synthesizer look like it has lots more of them. And you can pretty much do that with any image you want, and if you have the time and a steady hand you can select objects quite easily. So that was all about the basics of GIMP. See you next time.